With this video, we're going to learn how to make a table of contents in Microsoft Word with index fields. There's another way to make a table of contents using an outline, but we're going to stick with index fields for the purposes of this video. To do this, I first open my document, and I go through and I want to mark all of the words or sentences that I want to be in my table of contents and that I want Microsoft Word to keep track of the page numbers for. For instance, right here the word argument is a main heading and I want that to be in the table of contents. So I'm going to select that. I did that by double clicking on it. And then what you're going to do is type, uh, press three keys. You're not going to see them on the screen, but it's Alt, Shift, O. And when you do that, this box will appear. I'm going to move it over just so we can see it a little bit better with our word. You notice the word argument automatically populated that box. Ignore table identifier and focus on level. This is a main heading, so I want it to be level one. Then I'm going to click uh, mark, but before I do that, I want to move that up so you can see what happens. I'm going to click mark, and you'll notice that Microsoft inserted some words there. I'll talk about those in, in a few moments. Now what I want to do is go down and mark all the other words or sentences that are going to be part of the table of contents. I could do that by hitting close and then go through in each word or sentence. I hit Alt, Shift, O, or I can leave this box open, which is what I'm going to do, and go ahead and scroll down to the next section, where are the next uh, group of words that I want to be in the table of contents. So let's go find those words. And here they are. I want this entire sentence to be in the table of contents. I'm going to highlight it. You'll notice that this box is still open. I'm going to activate it by clicking on it. Notice the words change. Now this is a subheading, so I'm going to make it level 2. And you can obviously go and make it level 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and so on. But I'm going to click it and just make it level 2. And then I can keep on going and marking other words or sentences. But I'm going to stop for now. Hit close. Now we're going to go and insert the table of contents. Now this document, I've actually already got a table of contents, so what I'm going to do is create, I'm going to just go up and create a whole new section. So pardon me for a moment while I just create some blank space. We're going to insert that. Now what I want to do is, I know that I want to have the heading be table of contents. So I'm going to go ahead and just type that in there, table of contents. I don't want it to be centered. So let's uncenter that. But I do want table of contents to be in the table of contents. So I'll highlight it. Alt, Shift, O. Come over here. It's level one. Hit mark. Hit close. Now it's got that there. Now you'll notice those words are there. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get rid of those in a moment. Now go to where I want the table of contents to be. I'm going to be right there. I'm going to put the cursor there, click Insert, Reference, Index and Tables, click Table of Contents, and I want to make a few changes here. Unclick Use Hyperlinks instead of Page Numbers. You only want that checked when you're making a document to be used online. Check a few other things here. I do want page numbers, and I do want the page numbers right aligned. My tab leader, you know, what appears between the table of contents text and the page number, periods, that's already there for me. And ours is only going to go down to two levels, but we can leave that at three. It doesn't really matter. Click Options. Now go up and unclick where it says Styles, because we're not going to use Styles. Unclick where it says Outline Levels. Make sure that's empty. And then click Table Entries. So the only boxes that should be checked is Table Entry not outline levels, not styles. Hit OK. You notice some changes in here. Just look through, make sure it's how you want it to look. And hit OK. There you go. Table of contents has appeared. Now let's take a look at some of these things. You'll notice I've got the argument here. And that subheading showed up. It kept track of the page numbers just like we wanted. Now, what you're going to do is also, excuse me, I want to make sure we talk about this real quick. When you get through uh, print or get through editing this, the page numbers are probably going to change. 
and what you want to do is update it. To do that, just right click anywhere and then click update field. And it'll go through and immediately update everything. Now you'll notice also that I've got different types of page numbers, regular one and then I, I, and I. Also when you hover over that, the words control click to follow. That's just if you want to be able to navigate through your document, you can do that. It, none of that's going to show up when you print. Now the next thing, I told you about these words here that keep showing up and you want to get rid of those. Here's how you do that. You're going to go up to the top. You don't have to highlight it. Uh, let's undo that. You're going to go to the top and you're going to click the show hide button. Now scroll down. You'll notice for me the words are still there. If that happens for you, go up, click tools, options. You might have to hover over this to expand the section, click Options, click the View tab if it's not already clicked, and then uncheck Hidden Text. Hit OK, and you'll notice now it's disappeared. OK, now again going to this idea of updating this field. You notice all of these are in, upper ca uh, in all caps, and I want my Table of Contents to be in all caps. So what I need to do is change the Table of Contents. So I, what I need to do also is to delete those words that appeared there, but I can't see them now. So I'm going to go back and make them reappear. So I click that. There they are. And let's delete that. So I'm going to redo it. Table of Contents. I'm going to change the case. I'm make it all uppercase. There we go. Now I'm going to highlight it. Alt, Shift, O. This should look familiar. Hit mark, close. Now you notice the change hasn't shown up yet. Right click anywhere, update field, and there it is, it changed. Now another thing you're going to want to do uh, before you ever print this, is go up to File, Print, Print dialog box opens, and somewhere in here is an options box. You click that options box, and in the Print tab you're going to go down and make sure that update fields is checked. Notice it is for me. What that means is that before it prints, it will automatically go through and update all the fields and update your table of contents for you so that you don't have to do that. It'll do it automatically. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close out because I'm not going to print right now. And there we go. That's how you do a table of contents. Uh, again, let's go through and hide these words. That's a table of contents for you.